What am I doing? What are you doing? It sounds like you're rusty. You're talking to me through your jeans or something. Is that not what you're doing? Uh, well, I am, but my phone isn't in my jeans. My head is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. There's a lot of rustling going on. Well, I'm just sitting here. All right. All right. Calm down. You got some loud old birds over there. <laughs> Why you always got to bring up the birds? Well, there's more than one. <laughs> Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I've seen that. So, the movie I've selected. I'm excited. It's not a great movie. I thought it was as a kid, yeah. but this is one of those movies that does not hold up at all. <laughs> it's not surprising. So, I will read you some trivia. Mm-hmm. We'll see if you can figure it out. Wait, um, but give me... Who's the number one actor? No, I cannot tell you that. <laughs> who's the worst actor? Who's the, the worst wor- actor? The number seven actor. Number seven actor is Fisher Stevens. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, so here's some trivia for you. All right. This is the first feature film to be based on a video game. Okay. Um, Mortal Kombat? Okay. Nope. Yeah. Incorrect. Uh, da, da, da. Mario. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> that is correct. Didn't we talk about this one? Officially, I don't think so. I, I, but I feel like we spent like 10 minutes talking about this on one of the episodes. Did we? I don't know. We can always talk about it more. I don't, I don't care. That's fine. It's, uh, going through this trivia, there, there's some actually some interesting pieces. Yeah. I always knew yeah. that Bob Hoskins, he's you know played Mario, hates this movie or hated this movie. Yeah, like, he really did not like with it. With a deep, deep passion. It's like his biggest, it was his biggest regret. <laughs> um but uh, th- there's, let's see. Uh, I guess uh, John Leguizamo is also in it. Plays Luigi. 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 Says that no, they Luigi both Mario. hated work- Yeah, Luigi Mario. They both hated working on this movie so much that they would frequently get drunk just to make it through it. Yeah. And they knew that it would turn out real bad, so they just tried to make the best of it. Um, it was just really horrible. Yeah, uh, Bob Hoskins also broke his finger during this movie, huh. and had to wear a cast that they painted pink to look like a hand. <laughs> that happened to Jackie Chan too. He jumped onto a boat and broke his foot. And they put yeah, that was on uh, Rumble in the Bronx. Uh, I don't remember which one that was. Yeah, that one. And they uh, they painted his cast to look like a shoe. <laughs> uh, Tom Hanks wanted the role of Mario, but Nintendo worried that the star of Turner and Hooch. Uh, could not handle a or could not headline a blockbuster. <laughs> we can't get this scrub from the dog movie to be our Mario. Oh man, uh, he would also been, though he, he looks nothing like Mario. Well, he would have been terrible in that movie. Yeah. Tom Hanks that would that would have ruined his career like it did Bob Hoskins. I don't think this ruined Bob Hoskins' career. Oh, it's close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I remember now. We did talk about it because he's in a trilogy of movies that I loved, which was this one, and uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Hook. Hook. Oh yeah. Do we we talked about Hook? Yeah. We did talk about Hook. Okay. I think I still need to edit that episode. Um. Yeah. He always claimed that this is the worst thing he ever did. Yeah, it was pretty uh, terrible. Down the role of King Koopa. Yeah, so this was, they're plumbers, and they go Correct. to Daisy. It's not Princess Peach, right? It's just Daisy. No, it's just Daisy, yeah. Um, so, yeah. the problem is that this movie has almost no relation to the game. Other, other than, than the, names. the names of a few characters and their plumbers. Well, I feel like I heard this wasn't necessarily going to be a Mario movie that the script was written for something else, but it was like close enough and they kind of 
adapted it. Close enough. Yeah. I could be wrong about that, but that I feel like I heard that somewhere. That it was like the script was about this dinosaur world and then they're like, Oh well let's let's make a Mario movie out of this. That would be more enjoyable to me if it had no actual relation to Mario. But yeah, it's so but you would have never seen it. Yeah, well probably not. I don't know. The first experience I had with this movie was in theater. I didn't go see it in theater, but my mom took me to see Jurassic Park in theater. That's the first movie that I remember seeing in theater. And and this movie was one of the previews. Oh, okay. I was like, how and does this even a- connect? <laughs> well, they came, so they came out the same year. Did it? I thought it came out, like, before we were born. Nope, 1993. It has a very 80s feel to it, though. And so there's a scene, I don't know if you recall the movie very well, but there's not, a scene not great, but I remember it's when they're transit when they're transitioning being transported into the Mario world or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they go through that sand portal. Yeah. And then Mario's chasing after Daisy and like her face is like coming out of it, but it's like a sand. I saw that in the preview and it terrified me. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, what it was, was it- about. I'd probably who Mario was at the time. Was it the scariest thing you had seen? At the time, yeah. yes. That makes sense. All the way up until I saw Signs. <laughs> Sixth Sense? Yeah, Sixth Sense. There you go. But uh, the movie is really, really bad. Yeah, no, it's not good. Uh, the games are good, though. Oh, the games are great. The Except Super Mario 2. <sighs> On uh, Super Nintendo? Mario Brothers 2 is the one that uh, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. The The game was not a Mario game and they're like, well, we need to Mario 1 did so well. Let's just throw Mario into this game. And that was the one that had... Really? Yeah. That was the one with the pink dinosaur spitting the eggs and you're pulling up uh, beets out of the ground and stuff like that. Like, it did... It was nothing yeah, like the original. I, it did feel different. Yeah, you're right. Huh. But uh, have you ever beaten uh, Mario 64? Yes. Have I told you about that journey? I don't know. I don't think so. So so I had the game way back when it came out, like 98 on the 64. Yep. And me and Joshua played it all the time, nonstop. And so the main goal to beat the whole game is you got to get 120 stars. And there's all kinds of different missions, and every level has like five different stars that you can get, blah, blah, blah. There were two levels where you had to get 100 coins uh-huh. to get you, your star. We well, could not get it. Every level you get 100 but, coins, you get a star. Yeah, but there were two that we couldn't do it. Oh, okay. And we were stuck on 118 stars forever until yeah. we finally just stopped playing we could never get it so 10 12 years go by and i finally get the urge to oh because i found i found my mario game like in a box somewhere i was like you know what i want to play this again i tried down a, a 64 I played it. it still had my game on there from the 118 stars but i decided i wanted to start a new game i i wanted to start at the beginning and I played it, and I probably played it for three weeks, uh-huh. and I finally I was able to beat it. And it was funny because the two stars that I had trouble getting as a kid, they were no problem. But there was like ten other ones that I had problems with. <laughs> it, was, it was really weird. Have you got to have that kid hand-eye coordination. Have you seen any of the uh, speed runs? Uh I've I've seen one yeah one guy play the super or the Mario sixty four speed run I didn't watch the whole thing but it's insane yeah they beat it in like an hour and a half yeah that's it's so crazy how every move is calculated and if they don't make one jump at a certain time it's like busted they gotta start over yeah well there is one that I saw probably the most impressive one that I had seen was a guy played. Mario 64, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and another N64 game. I don't remember what it was. 
on three different TVs all at the same time and beat all three of them at the exact same time. So, like, right. anytime there was, like, a load scene, he'd put the controller down, grab the other one, play, put the controller, like, just cycle through yeah. all three. And he beat, he ended up beating all of them together at the same time. In something like two hours or something crazy. That's insanity. Yeah. And that guy I don't was have me. That. Oh! <laughs> Spoiler alert. Shocker. Um, yeah, I never beat Mario. Um, I will say it is uh, it's not, not satisfying. It? <laughs> yeah. it, it's not, well, it was, it was satisfying to be able to finish what I started as a kid. But the actual ending was not satisfying at all. No. Plus, all that uh, neglect you gave to your kids and all the money you're going to have to pay for. Well, actually, this was before I had kids. Oh, was it? This was, uh, this was right after me and Crystal got married. I was still working at Albertsons, and I had, like, crazy days off all the time, so I had a lot of time. Yeah. That's weird. They didn't want to pay you to come work more? Yeah, I know. That's strange. I will never understand that. <laughs> but the the fact, or the just the, uh, the being able to finish what I started, that was satisfying. Yeah. Is that the only thing you've ever finished? Um, in my entire life, yes. That makes sense. Well, anything else about Super Mario Brothers, the movie? The movie, yes. I will say it gave us one of the greatest songs of all time. And the lyrics go like this. Everybody up, get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh. (laughs) And that was done in a nightclub scene in Super Mario World. And it became an instant classic. Other than that, no. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I, I will say that... Oh. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's like... It, yeah, it, it almost feels like you're right. Like, they had this movie made. And it was no connection to Mario. And then they just kind of sprinkled Mario stuff in. And then they were, like, trying too hard. Like, they're... Oh, you know what? It's like we don't have enough Mario stuff. We got to make something else be Mario. So then they they had Toad in the movie. Do you remember him? Yes. He was just a regular dude. You do remember? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he was just this regular dude who got arrested for singing about King Koopa. And then they turned him into a Goomba. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He... But the Goombas are just like huge lizard faces. Yeah, they're not the mushrooms. Shrunken... Yeah, not mushrooms. Or whatever they are. They... What are they in the game? The little brown guys. I think they're mushrooms, aren't they? Those are mushrooms? I thought so. I mean, they're the exact same shape as the other mushrooms. They just have feet. Uh, I always thought they were like little chicken nuggets. I don't think they're chicken nuggets. I don't think that they are, but that's was always my impression. Um, yeah, other than that, that movie, I don't know when the first time I saw it and I realized how terrible it was. I want to say I was probably like 15 and I'd seen it 10 times by then. And I was like, wow, this is, this is really bad. Yeah, it's not Extremely good. Extremely bad. I saw it no. once when I was a kid, and I, I liked it, and then I saw it I loved again, it as a kid. And I was like, oh, this is not good. I always loved it as a kid. I don't, I, I, and maybe it's just because it was Mario in my head. I made me want to like it. Yeah. But it was just so bad. Are you going to show your kids this? Oh, for sure. Oh, will you? Oh, I probably will, just because my son likes Mario, so... I'll probably show him and he'll be confused, but he'll like it and he won't understand why. Yeah, well, I think when you're a kid, you just like movies. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right. You're just, you, you like that you're able to watch movies. Yeah, just like how a joke is funny just because it's a joke, not because it's funny. Exactly. Like, I, yeah, the more I think about it, I don't know if I ever watched a movie as a kid where I was like, eh, I didn't like that. I did. Did you? Yeah. There's a lot of movies I didn't like. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all I got. So what would you give this on a scale of 1 to 10? Or what was our scale? It was change the channel, wait till commercial, watch. I don't remember. We had a, or, a, a real elaborate, perfect scale. Oh, so you, it was that's like, it was. turn off the TV. No, it was throw out the TV, turn off the TV. Oh, that's right. Change the channel, wait till commercial, watch the movie, or call people over. Something about making popcorn. Yeah, making popcorn and then calling people, having a party. Yeah. Uh, I would say, just for the sake of nostalgia, I'll probably watch it until commercial. Yeah, I think that's probably what I would say, too. And, and not because like it's good, just because, I, I don't know, there was a time that I loved it. Yeah, I, I would probably watch it for a little bit and be like, oh, I can't do this, and then I'd end up changing it. Yeah, I, yeah, I might watch it through a couple commercials until I, I might get a little bored. Yeah. All right, it's, well, that was Super Mario yeah. Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. That's another one we never, we never need to talk about again for the rest of our lives. Yeah. I And I think this is the first movie that we have both kind of agreed on uh, liking it as a child. Yeah, maybe. I feel like we well, agreed yeah, on some other stuff. All right. Well, we'll be back yeah. at some point. Probably in at two months. Point. Two to three years. <laughs> It'll be a different podcast by then.